Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor at ASM Educational Center. We're looking at Mark from Maryland. Our website is www.asmed.com. Today, I'm going to talk about Juniper JNCIA, Juniper RIP route configuration. So let me show you what I'm talking about. In this diagram, we're going to have a J4, which is router 4, router 2, router 1, and router 3. Now, router 1, router 2, we're not going to use that. Later on, we're going to use this on next lab. In this part of lab, we're going to run RIP. What that means is the link between these two guys is going to be 2020.2 and 2020.4. Okay, I already give IP address. I'm going to show you that IP address, which I'll show you that before. So the goal is that router 4, which is sitting here, be able to ping router 2 loopback address, which can be 2222. And eventually, router 2 be able to ping the loopback as a RIP. Now, the RIP is different than OSPF. In OSPF, we could advertise it directly connected network where RIP is different. Look what happened. RIP is the interior gateway port IGP that routes packet within single autonomous system AS. By default, RIP does not advertise subnet are directly connected through device interface. For tra traffic to pass through a RIP network, you must create what they call a route policy. We're going to talk about this later on. Route policy to export these routes. Advertising only the direct route propagate the route to be immediately adjacent route enable router only. To propagate all routes to the RIP network, you must configure what? Route policy to export those routes. Okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Now before we do that, I want to show you what we have. I go to my um, GNS3, I have router 2, router 4. When I go right click, I go to console, I'm gonna see this one. So I want to show you what we have. This is router 4 is right now. So let me type in exit first. Show configuration. Oops. Okay. So what do we have? We have IP address right here. 202020. 20, 20. That's the which is EM2. That's in our diagram right here. Then I have a what? A loop back 444 4, 4, and router what? 4. That's it. Now I can be able to ping 20.20.20.4. .20 I'm pinging myself. Control C. Upper key. I'm a router 4 right now. This is router 4. Now I'm going to ping dot 2. Okay, so I have connectivity right here. Control C. If I try to ping 2.2.2, .2 which is look back at router 2 is, I cannot do that. Why is that? Because when I say show route, I don't see my routing table. That's the whole idea of the lab is. We want to make sure that these guys will be able to sell. So that was router 4. Let's go to router 2 right now. So let's see what we have here. Again, this has been set up for you. Show configuration. When I come down, I have the basic stuff right here. Then I come down, I have the IP address for EM1. I'm a router 2 right now. That's right here. This is 10, 10, 10, which we're not going to use this interface, by the way. I come down. I have EM2, this is connected to that, that's this side, that's 2020, and then I also have EM3. This network, which is right here, these can be laid on OSPF. Next lab, we're going to use OSPF. So the whole idea is we want to do RIP first, then we're going to do, we're going to do OSPF, then we're going to do export, or in Cisco environment, they call it redistribution. We're doing next lab, next video, and then we have loopback 222, all of that, okay? All right. Now again, on router two, when I type in ping, the loopback four 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 four. Sorry about that. It's loopback router four. I can't see why not because when I say show route, I don't see my routing table. I don't see any four 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 four. Okay. I only see the direct network two, network ten, twenty, twenty, and thirty. All right. So that's what the goal is. The goal is you want to do rep. But again, rep is different than OSPF. So let's look at my notes. So the first thing I want to do, I have to go to router 2 and enable enable RIP routing. Hint, we're going to use the command what? Neighbors. Now I'm at router 2 right now, right here. See router 2. When I use neighbors, you cannot use IP address. You got to use what? You got to use what? Interface. In Cisco environment, we use the IP address, but here we use interface. So as a hint, for neighbors, you cannot use neighbor IP address. You need to use interface. In in case router 2. So I gotta use that one. So I gotta go to router 2. I'm gonna set protocol. We're gonna do that question mark, rip, question mark, you gotta group, 
Now then I'm going to call her rip group. These are what? Local significance. That means router two can use this router two can use any kind of group name. Router four can use any kind of group name. So let me go to router two right now. So again, I'm at operation mode. Remember that's operation mode. I'm going to tell me what? Configure. Okay? Now this become pound mode, which is configuration mode. So what I'm going to say is set okay protocols question mark. as you see I have a lot of stuff but in this lab we want to do what rip question mark okay then what I need I need what group okay group sorry about that question mark I gotta give it some name so I'm gonna call it what as I say my nose I'm gonna call it rip group rip group I put in capitals so you can see much better okay rip group question mark then I need the word what neighbors I need neighbor question mark then I get my neighbors now I'm at the what router 2 I'm router 2 so my neighbors which is router for what em2 em2 okay press enter commit then I'm gonna say exit show configuration and when I come down I will see the rip statement okay now this is not enough we have to do more stuff okay now when I go to router 4 show IP router I don't see nothing at neighbors so let me go to router 4 right now see I go to router 4 even though I did all of this on what router 2 so I go to router 4 I just want to show you we don't see nothing yet so I use upper key show route I see don't see nothing I don't see loop back 4 4 I don't see rip okay now I will enable what? Rip on what? Router 4. Same thing I did that, I do router 4. I said that. See here, the group name is local significant, does not need to be sent. So under router 4, I'm going to say set protocol, question mark, rip, question mark, group. Now I rip group 4, neighbors, then that. Again, this is local significant. So I'm going to go to router 4 right now. So step by step. I did router 2, now I'm going to go to router 4. So I have to give, you can remember that this is what kind of mode? Operation mode. I'm going to type in configure. Okay. Then I'm going to say set. All right. Protocols. That's where you start. Question mark. Then you're going to use what? Rip. Oops, sorry about that. Rip. Question mark. Then what do you need? Group. Question mark. You need a group name. So here I'm going to use rip group. Let's say four. You know, again, it's what is a local signal. That means I can use group four here. I group two. I just did it intentionally. Okay. Then with a put an H question mark. What I need and the next command is what neighbors. Neighbors. Then I need my name. I'm router four. My neighbors. If you look at diagram, it's going to be what E M. If I look at here, router four. The next E M two. Okay. So. EM2 enter commit now I can say see if I say show configuration you see it doesn't work I can say I can say exit or I can say like a Cisco is a do command here said run show configuration so let's see what we have we have IP address we have IP address right here now we have what a protocol okay now let's say exit and let's do show remember on Cisco router we say show IP route but here we just say what route there's no IP we don't use the word IP we just say show route see I don't see anything what rip yet I'm a router 4 it shows that I have rip here but I don't see nothing here at all why is that because remember we have to export okay so look again you configure a basic rip network create a rip group called rip group and then and directly connect interface to RIP group. Then you configure routing policy to advertise direct route using policy and advertise route that. By default, Juno's OS does not advertise RIP routers. Not even routes are learned through RIP. To advertise RIP, you must configure and apply what? Export routing policy that advertise RIP, learn and direct connect. So I need to create what? A policy with statement. For example, I can call it rip policy. Okay. Again, these are local significance. So I'm going to go to router four right now. I'm going to set 
policy tab key option question mark see policy statement question mark rip statement i mean that's the name then i gotta use the word term one you gotta say what from from then you gotta have from from what protocol rip and direct because you want to advertise what both rip and direct if you do just rip it's not going to work you have to do advertise that's how you do that okay then after that, you're going to see turn one see turn one turn one then you got to say what accept as we see above in order to create a route policy i'm saying create policy i need to have term like number from okay right here then what then i need action okay then what accept so let's go to router what four right now okay step by step again this is what kind of mode operation mode configure now i'm at what configuration mode okay so i'm going to say set policy tab key option question mark then what i need policy what statement that's what you need policy statement question you got to give it name i'm going to use rip policy again this is what uh, as i told you local significance that means router 2 can use different name and router i'm sorry router 4 can use different name router. rip policy question mark oops over that then i need what first i need term policy term then i need from then i need then so i said term question mark i can use anything i'm going to use one question mark now what i need as i show you my notes i need what from right here see from so let's go back to router four i'm going to see from protocol question mark. when you do that you see so many of those okay oops sorry from what rip press enter then you gotta use operator key backspace you gotta do same thing with what direct connect enter now what you want to do you did from from then you're gonna use operator key backspace instead of term one after that you're going to what right now when i put a question mark you got it what then then question mark then what are you going to say right here accept so you want to accept that one as you see we have a lot of other stuff accept commit so let's see what we have i'm going to talk in run show configuration okay i'm not finished yet you got to be careful okay these are my ip address here these are my ips loopback address okay this is when you define your what uh rather rip okay now here all i did what explain policy proco rip and direct and then accept okay now i have to make these guys talk to each other okay the keyboard here they call our export okay you gotta export this so i'm not finished i have to kind of like make these guys talk to each other okay right now there's nothing between these two guys okay so here's policy statement i'm just showing in my notes right here now I, we need to export export is like i'm fine this policy to a rip group under what rip that that so all you do under router 4 you're going to say what S set protocols rip question mark group then after that when you put the question you can see the word export then you got to do rip policy okay that means so let's do that right now let's go to router 4 so that means when i finish i'm going to see below this right below this i have to see export so let's do that so I'm going to keep my eyes right here, okay? So I'm going to say set protocols right here, okay? Then I'm going to say what? Rip right here. Then I'm going to put what? Group. Oops, sorry, what? Question mark. Then what I need, I need a name. So I'm going to use rip. See, I got to use what? Tab key, policy. As this is case sensitive, make sure that you got to use exact same thing question mark now here you're going to use what export export question mark then you got to do what what do you want to export the policy that we create right here see that right here so you're going to say what rip 
policy question mark enter commit let's see what we have run show configuration so that's a key part right here okay these are IP address we have go down 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 this IP address right here so here we said what protocols rip group that neighbors so this is called talking about then remember that we had this what policy option term one all of that in order to do this you have to apply in order to do right after group this right after group that you're gonna put what export that okay so that's what I did hint I need to export since we are trying to bring the directly connect network to rep let's say on the left side we're going to do later on we had a what OSPF network let's say my diagram look at this later on we're going to do a next lab we have OSPF here so what you want to do you kind of want to export OSPF from here to here it's kind of in Cisco language you call that injection you want to inject OSPF into RIP and this has to be when you do that you have to export on you have to go under router RIP and do export so what that means let me show you that quickly that means if I am under what you create option then you're gonna say what protocol what OSPF okay you gotta create a new option okay then what are you gonna do you're gonna export that all right so we've done all of that now I go to router 2 I do show route I will see the loopback of that so let me go to router 2 So I'm going to say what? Show route. Okay. See now I'm routed to right now. I see these guys. Okay. Now let's see if I can ping it. Ping 4.4.4.4. Okay. So I have connectivity right now. That's good so far. Okay. So I can say show route. I can see what? I have 444 4, 4 right here. Then I will see it. since. Why I say since on R4 I did what? export the policy but if I go to router 4 remember now I wasn't what I was a router 2 but if I go router 4 do show route I don't see loopback 222 since on router 2 I need to did not export the policy so let's go look at right let's go to router 4 right now so look at this once it run show route okay do you see any 222 no because i have not done export policy right here and now you have to if i say ping 2.2.2.2 sorry about that you say run ping 2.2.2.2 it does not what work same thing we did on what on router uh four sorry about that i'm sorry same thing we did on router two let me type in show configuration Same thing, I'm sorry, we did router 4, we got to do what? Here too. All right. So look at this. I go to router 4. Same as run show configuration. So same thing we did here. I've done this part, I've done that. I have to create what? A new policy option like that. Then we got to give it what? A rep policy, what is that? And you got to do a both of them rip and direct but you gotta do what export okay so I gotta do same concept all right so so when I do show configuration right now router 2 I have this okay I have the group now on router 2 we need to do what create a policy same thing again and then export under router rip let's do that let's do what policy so I'm gonna to go to router 2 right now as you see that when I say show configuration I just want to show you what do we have we have IP address right here we have IP address blah blah blah, blah. we have IP address right and I did what protocol rip but I haven't done it what policy options so I'm gonna say configure okay so right now you have the configuration mode right so I'm gonna say what set policy tab key option question mark what do you need same thing again 
policy statement question mark what do you need name again i'm a router two i'm going to use rip policy two remember that is a local signal i can use any number i can use rip policy two here for router two and the other router i can use rip policy four so this is what local significance remember that when you do this when you do policy do you need term one from port code rip from port code direct then from from then you guys say what then what accept okay so let's do that quickly i'm a router two right okay i'm gonna put a question mark so i gotta do term first term let's say one when i put a question mark i need what from see condition to match from then i say protocol question mark i'm gonna say what rip enter up category remember you have to do rip and you have to say what connected i'm sorry direct <laughs> enter okay then i'm going to use apparatus key instead of term one from after term one i put a question mark then i gotta put what then question mark then i'm going to the top one accept okay then you're going to save it commit now let's check it out run show configuration i'm gonna write it too okay this is my ip address this is my ip address so this is my this is my sorry about these are my ip address right here see we this is rip enable rip and here what the policy is right now what i have to do i have to apply this policy right here below what this guy you have to so export so that's what i'm going to do so keep your eyes right here okay so that means it's going to be right here actually eventually it's going to be above this one export right here so you're going to say what set protocols okay i'm right here the next question will be rep okay then what i need group so let's put a question mark you need what group question mark i got it what use what rip group question mark right then here's the key you guys say what export now which one you want to export this one right here okay enter commit now just check it out again i'm saying run show configuration let's check it out these are ip address i have it before I come down i created what for a rip right here now look what happened this is rip group we did not have this export that's what's right here and that correspond to what right here policy option policy statement that from pork rip and that so again the key is under rip it's different than always we have to do what export so i did under the other two i did all of this right and here's all the work right here show configuration blah 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 all of that right they gotta do that then i'm gonna put what under that that means export has to be right here before it's like that okay now if i go to router four remember that we did all of these on which router and router what two now let's go to router four right now let's see if i can see that remember that? router four before when i say show route it does not see what look back remember that this is router four is now look at this a power key run show route all right now i'm router four i see what the loop back we are what rip and the preference number is 100 let's see if you can ping that run let me type exit doesn't matter ping 2.2.2.2 all right now we can what ping okay again step six when i go to r4 and look at the routing table i should be able to ping look back at this ping that let's just show route a router for i see this is a rip and so on and i can what ping it so summary in order to make rip in order to make rip works not only you need to have what neighbor statement on the router you need to create what a policy that has both rip and what direct inside and make sure you export it on there what set protocol rip now if i go to r2 and create a new loopback address 
Then in R2, we had a one loop back here as was 2222.2 slash 32. Now I'm going to do create new bags is that. Oops, sorry about that. Let's do undo. Then it will show writing for table. So let's go to R2 right now. When I say show configuration R2, I have this. I have only loop back, but one of them. So let me go to R2. Okay. So if I say show interface, see I have what? This loop back. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put another loop back. I'm going to say set interface loop back zero, unit zero, family. Again, I'm just following a step bus right here. I net question mark address. Now I'm going to put two dot two dot two dot three slash what thirty two. Commit. Then say show what interface. Now I see what on loop back. You know, I could have multiple IP addresses right here on loop back zero. You have that, okay? So that's what I did right now. I did all of that, right? Now, if I go to router 4, I should what? see this loop back and I should be pinging that. Because remember, I did on what? I did this on router 2. Now, if I go to router 4, if I say show route, see, I see 2222 and also 22.3. Let's see if we can ping it. Ping 2.2.2.3. We can do that. So, it looks very good. All right. Again, ping, ping, ping. Now, let's say here, look at what happened. Now, if I go to router 2 and deactivate the export statement, I just want to show you that if you don't have export statement, it would not work. See here, I'm going to deactivate what? Exports on router 2. You have to have what? This what? Statement, export. Remember that? We can make it deactivate that. Deactivate means instead of deleting, we can de deactivate that. How do you do that? You go to router 2 deactivate protocol which match right here rip group export so that means in front of export you put a what deactivate that's all so let's go to router 2 right now i just want to show you when deactivate that so when i say run show configuration let's see what we have the key is remember that in real life, you have to have this word statement. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in what? Deactivate. Oops. Let me have that in front of me. So I have a better seeing that. Right here. That's the goal. My eyes, you want to keep your eyes here. Deactivate. Okay. Protocols. Okay. Right here. Rip. All right. Then what do you need? Group, oops, wait. Rip, question mark. Group, question mark. Rip, policy, rip group, right? Question mark, then what? Export, enter, commit. Now look what happened. It's up our key. See? Inactive. Inactive that means it's not reading what this statement. I did all of this on what? Router what? Two. That means none of these guys being avatars on router what? Four. So if I go to router four, if I say show, remember that I could ping it. Now I cannot ping it. Control Z. If I say show route, I don't see none of those. I don't see router uh because I'm router four. I don't see loopback two 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 two. Okay. So that's the key. Is I want to make sure you understand that you have to have what? This statement, okay? And that's what I did. Right here, all of that. Okay, it's right here. It's reading all of that, okay? So show route is gone. So summary, I need to what? Export, rip that. Let's put it back. How do you do that? All you have to say what? Activate. So I'm going to go to router 2, deactivate. Opposite of that will be activate. I use upper key, control A. All you have to say, just say activate, commit, a power key, show, run show configuration, and you're going to see the result has to be what? Right there. Okay, I'm router 2. Let's go to router 4 and see I can show route. 
Now I see all of that. Life is good. Okay, oops, I would have postponed that one. Ping. 2.2.2.2. Life is good. Control C. Upper dot what? 3. All right, that's very good. Life is back to what? Normal. Okay. So, on the next lab, I will configure what? OSPF between router 1, router 2, router 3. Then, we make sure that OSPF would advertise loopback 111 and routing right being seen on it. Okay? That means on the diagram, next lab, we're going to run what? OSPF here. Then, when I go to router 1, when I advertise, I will have to export to here. So, when I go router 4, show route, I should see 111 and 222. And also vice versa, we're going to export later on, uh, rip into OC. That's the next lab is, okay? All right. So that concludes our lab. I just want to share our website is, if you go to our website, www.asn.com. When you go under here, blogs, you can see CCNS, CCNP, Juniper. When you go to Junipers, that's going to take you to here. So this is our blogs we have. And when you click it, for example, if you go Juniper OSPF lab, which we've done, then when you click here, you're going to see what the diagram you have the powerpoint and also we have everything here and if you click here you're going to see the pdf and the video is going to be uploaded here too again if you have a question or comment just give us a call here 301-984-7400 or fill out this form and we can help you out too thanks so much you have a good day bye bye